Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you here. Monday's footy news on afl.com.au. Well, Leroy Jetta's reputation for staging may now be proving costly in a kind of different way. Fremantle's Adam McPhee has escaped punishment for this from the Match Review panel. But listen carefully to the exchange here between Jetta and former player now umpire Jordan Bannister on Saturday night in the West. Okay, mate, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Mate, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. I'm telling you I didn't see it. So, Jetta questioning umpire Jordan Bannister there now. Leroy Jetta's obviously had the last couple of weeks with the staging incidents. Do you feel like on the weekend you, got, you didn't get a free kick? Do you feel like you might become a victim of that going forward by the umpire? Oh, look, mate, potentially, but it's something I don't even think about. Leroy's, Leroy's so important to us, and that's, that's the last thing I'd be worrying about when I'm looking at what he does um, during his game. I would look at it from a staging point of view if there was no contact, but there is contact there. Yeah, and what about that reputation in terms of whether or not there's a penalty towards McPhee? Oh, that's completely unrelated. No, you don't look at it from that point of view. Magpie Scott Pendlebury is a step closer to a return, checking in for fresh scans on his cracked tibia, but the club isn't expected to take any risks. Uh, yeah, just had a light, light run. And, yeah, felt all right, put up all right, but no more sort of this week. And hopefully he can be back for that Carlton game. So you're pretty confident you'll be back for the Blues? Uh, I hope so. It's still a long time, two weeks to go, so I hope so. The Crows are reeling after their loss to North Melbourne and an admission the simple art of goal kicking needs some work. I think a lot more practice needs to be done. If you want to get better at something, then you've got to practice yeah, it. Yeah, because so much time is put into other areas, you know, you've got to recover, you've got to um, work on other areas of your game and um, sometimes that gets not, you know, doesn't get the attention that it probably requires. Injury plagued Hawthorne skipper Luke Hodge has triggered a 12 month contract extension, but at 28 he says he still has a lot of footy left in him. I think uh, we're pr at a pretty exciting time at this stage, and um, actually we've had some some great players that have just signed over the last last few days. So I said it's, uh, it was a pretty easy decision. Look, it's an exciting time. Um, the boys are playing some, some good football, and it's good that a lot of the younger guys have uh, have wanted to stay with the club. And you see a few of the fossils in, in Sammy Mitchell on that <laughs> signing. And look, it's I said this this. Club's in a strong place on field and, and off field, so it's, it's, it is a great place to be around. A slap for Carlton from an AFL legend and club hero, Alex Jezelenko, doubtful about the Blues' premiership prospects. Yeah, they've uh, certainly gone backwards a little bit. Uh, watching them, must, they need a power forward. Uh, that's where most of their problems are here. They've got a back line that's uh, OK. Uh, mid, midfield is very, very good. But uh, they've got no forwards. Despite another MCG loss, West Coast superstar Nick Natanui has told AFL.com.au the Eagles have proven they can compete on footy's biggest stage. We still, have, we still feel we have massive you know, room for improvement and um, a long way to go. So um, yeah, we weren't really satisfied with, with what, we were, what we achieved on the weekend. We still want to you know, obviously beat them, but you know, do a lot better than we did. Natanui and Jezelenko joining Stephen Silvani as the AFL launched its multicultural round today. GWS Rugby League convert Israel Folau features in the ad campaign but is unlikely to take on the Swans, according to the Giants' list manager. Yeah, well, well, Israel's actually had a hamstring injury, so he's probably due back in a week or two, so he might be a chance this week. He is a chance to play this week. Well, he, well, it really depends on his injury, so... That is a wrap on Monday's footy news. Of course, the verdict with Match Review Panel Chairman Mark Fraser is online right now for you to watch a full wrap-up of all of the findings. And tomorrow here online, check out Ashley Brown's one-on-one -on -one interview with Nick Natanui. Looking forward to seeing that full chat. OK, that is it for now. This is afl.com.au, where the footy news is always free.